Move further into March, more and more people are going to be taking vacations along with college students who will be on spring break. So schools are now putting together plans on how to handle students when they come back from spring break. WBZ's Tashani Whitlow is live in Boston tonight. And Tashani, students at Emerson College have just finished their spring break. That's right, David. Now, after traveling overseas, three Emerson College students are currently being self-quarantined. Now, that's just as a precaution. They have not been diagnosed. Two of those students are out of state, and one is being monitored here in Boston. We have a protocol for someone who would first go into quarantine and then later isolation if they were um, tested positive. Area colleges trying to stay ahead of the coronavirus, issuing strict guidelines for students returning from spring break who may have traveled overseas. We got an email telling us that they were coming back last week. So effectively, their trip to Europe got canceled. Out of an abundance of caution, Emerson canceling its abroad program. Northeastern University required its students to register their travel plans on the school's portal and self-report any symptoms. Emerson currently has no cases of COVID-19, but according to the VP for Student Affairs, they've had a plan in place for three years in the event of an outbreak. We have protocols for how we're going to support them, how we're going to help them get the proper medical attention, how we'll keep them fed, um, and as they're able to study, how we'll help them um, continue to take classes remotely. As the number of cases increase throughout the state, Emerson installing additional hand sanitizing stations and reminding students to practice good hygiene. I just feel like I should wash my hands. Emerson College says they're having frequent meetings and sharing their college preparedness plan with area schools to combat the deadly virus. Now, for some colleges, they are on spring break this week. As for the ones that are back in the classrooms, we've reached out to several of them to find out how many students they may have that are currently being self-quarantined. We haven't heard back from them. Um, and as soon as we do, we will bring you that information on air and online at cbsboston.com. For now, live in Boston, Tishani Whitlow, WBC News.